How we doing, YouTube? So I'm going to do some upgrades to my roll-off dumpster trailer. Uh, I want to add some lights, some backup lights, um, a new wireless remote, uh, some beacon lights. Um, it's going to be a pretty long process. I'm going to break it up into probably three videos. Um, I'll show you all the stuff that I that I got to do the upgrade. I'll show you how um, I build the wiring harnesses to do it, uh, distribution boxes, and and all that. So uh, stay tuned. What's happening there, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about some safety issues, uh, some upgrades that I'm about to do to my dumpster trailer, uh, my roll-off trailer. It's a raw max, uh, basically the same thing as a Max XD. Uh, over the last couple of months, I've found that it's hard to see uh, when I'm backing in um, some of these driveways. It gets dark up here in Maine about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's hard to see. It's hard to be seen. Um, so when I'm backing in a driveway and there's a little knoll or something like that, I want people to be able to see what I'm doing um, before they even get to me. So that you know includes some warning lights. Uh, and then I want to be able to see what I'm doing as I'm loading and unloading these cans, um, being tethered with a cable remote or a cable controller um, just isn't, there's no advantage to it. Uh, I want to be able to walk around and, and see what's happening and, and if I'm lined up. So let's get into this. I'm going to put some, some Harbor Freight, uh, backup lights on the trailer, uh, so that I can see, you know, where I'm backing into, uh, so on and so forth. I'll probably put a couple of these in my truck too, uh, if I like them. These are the, uh, Road Shock LED three inch floodlights. I didn't want the spotlights because I, I think the flood is going to work just fine. To, to hook some of this stuff up, and once again, safety, I'm using some of these uh, high amp circuit breakers. Um, I'll show you those when we get to, get to the install section, as well as I've got some fuses and some relays. Now, that covers me being able to see. Now, I want people to be able to see me. So I bought these on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. I bought these little flashing lights. They go from orange to white. And uh, there's a couple of different modes you can put them on to, to how they flash. Uh, I also bought an emergency beacon or a, a whoopee light, I call them, uh, for the top of the truck. I may put this on the top of the gooseneck. Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to see how... Uh, how it looks on both of those. So that allows people to see me, right? These these two here. And then for me to be able to see around the load in the can, I bought a LODAR four function uh, remote system. Uh, that's gonna be a big install. So that's gonna run my uh, the bed of the trailer as well as the, as the wench uh, off of one controller. What I like about these versus, you know, some of the other, um, Hacks, I guess you could say the the people are using the wench remotes from Harbor Freight and they're and they're doing some stuff. Uh, this has a much longer range, so I don't have to worry about this thing cutting out if I'm on the other side of the truck or the other side of the can uh, away from the antenna. And then because I already currently have a remote, a wireless remote for my for my wench, and that's going to be covered under under this one. I'm going to use my old controller, stay with me now, to control the brakes on my to control the brakes on my trailer. So when I'm loading and unloading a can, and I got my truck in, uh, in neutral, and I'm allowing it to, to move underneath the can, um, a lot of people, you know, you leave the driver's door open, they run back and forth, um, or whatever. I want to be able to control my trailer brakes, which is also going to, stop my truck, right? Um, so it's not rolling into a ditch. So we're going to see how that's going to work out. I think it's a good use uh, for this old controller in the old uh, uh, receiver that's that's mounted to the winch now. So let me give you a close-up of this stuff. So the first thing we'll talk about <clears throat> are these backup lights. These backup lights are from Harbor Freight. Uh, most of you have a Harbor Freight. You can you can go check these out on your own. I'm not going to bother putting a link down there for these. 
Um, the one thing I do want to point out, so I got two of these plugs uh, and one for the back. I'll show you why uh, in just a minute. Then I also got this light bar wiring kit. And the reason I did this, it was like 20, 26 or $27. And this is the pile that comes in it. And the reason I went with this, even though I could have done this wiring myself, it comes with an extension, uh, so you can wire up two lights. Comes with a switch. I'm not going to use that, but I'm going to show you why uh, during the install. But it comes with a fuse holder, as well as the relay. So if I were to buy a relay and a pigtail, all of this wiring, um, and, and this is this is wrapped really well for um, for the weather. Uh, I, I couldn't have done that for for twenty six dollars. So I went ahead and got this light bar wiring kit. Um, well worth it. Got plugs on here that are Deutsch connectors, um, and I have a I have a kit that I can also make those same things. So. All right, that's the backup lights. So now let's talk about these these little beacon lights. Um, I, I don't know; they're little flasher flasher lights. I, I don't really know what else to call them other than that. Uh, these are ASPL. Um, it's a warning light, amber amber and white. So in our state, we're not allowed to run. Uh, flashing red or flashing blue, um, flashing red only on the only on the rear, like your your four way hazards. I'm going to see if I can get a close up. There's the part number. Got these off of Amazon. I'll put a link below, and I don't get any kind of uh, affiliate, whatever. Uh, if you click on that link, it doesn't give me any money. Uh, I only have 20 subscribers, so. Oh, that's that's not going to happen. Um, and what I like about these is they're sealed in the back. I don't have to worry about corrosion getting in there uh, as long as I make my connections solid. Uh, and I'll show you how I do that. I've already mounted a couple of these, so we'll go out and take a look at these in a minute. This beacon light I also got from Amazon. It's the Ranger Series LED strobe light. There's the numbers on it. I'll put a link below. Um, what I really like about this beacon light is it, it has so many different modes um, that depending on what you're doing, uh, you can, you know, it, the strobes will point to one way, which is supposed to tell traffic, you know, go this way or go that way. Uh, I don't see that that's really going to work. Um, but uh, I like it. It came with some magnetic mounts. Um, I can't use the magnetic mounts because the back rack that I have on my truck is aluminum. So I had to come up with a different uh a different setup for that. Now the Lodar remote. Um, here's a here's a look at the remote. Uh, this is very um, impact resistant. It's very very sturdy. Uh, I, I don't see any issues. I don't see. Um, uh, I have a couple other like key fob looking ones. And they break all the time. Now, this is the receiver box. As you can see, that's sealed up good. It's got a nice gasket in there. Uh, the cable is is you know weather tight, and you have to mount this pretty high on the trailer, um, so it gives you plenty of plenty of cable. Now. <clears throat> Lodar allows you to, uh, or they offer many, many different versions of this. Um, and 
with this remote, I have a bed up and a bed down. So we both, or we all know that that, that works off of hydraulics. My wench in and out is not hydraulic. It is uh, electric. So it has nothing to do with the hydraulic pump. Now, what Lodar does that, that some of the people that use the Harbor Freight ones, they, they have to figure out how they're going to run the, the pump and not backfeed power. So they use diodes and, and whatever. And that is, uh, that's perfectly fine. That's, you know, industry standard. Uh, what Lodar does, they have this white wire that controls, it's a master control. So when I push the up or down button, this actually fires my, my motor on my hydraulic pump, and I don't have to worry about that power back feeding. And when I use my wench, well, it doesn't fire this, this white wire because it's not hydraulic. It's not controlled by that same pump. It's just electric. So once I get this wired up, um, well, I'll have a video on that also. It's going to be probably a video on its own, like most of these might be. Hey, thanks for watching the first part of this series, uh, putting the, the little strobe lights on. That was going to be the first. Uh, that's part one. So part two is going to be hooking up all the backup lights. Uh, and then probably part three will be the wireless system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification thing, thumbs up, do, you know, do all that YouTube stuff. All right. Thanks for watching.